in the presence of the Prophet والسلام, it goes to his head and then he goes back to the middle of the Arabian Peninsula forms a group and then writes a letter to the Prophet والسلام, and he says from Musaylima the messenger of Allah to Muhammad the messenger of Allah let us divide up the Arabian Peninsula you take one side and I take the other the Prophet والسلام, answered him very simple words from Muhammad Rasulullah to Musaylima al kaddab the liar inna al-arda lillahi yurithuha min yasha'u min ibadi wal-aqibatu bin muttaqeen surely the earth is for Allah it belongs to Allah and he gives it to whom he pleases from his servants and surely the best re reward is for those who have taqwa so he answered him in a humble way not saying it is my land this earth belongs to Allah but the enemies of Allah from the beginning came into our ranks in disguise sometime with long beard, sometime with turban sometime with jubba sometimes seeing as alim, as sheikh, as maulana <coughs> claiming to be many things, claiming to be mujaddid claiming to be mahdi and even claiming to be the messenger of Allah wa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly gave the ability to the Prophet, peace be upon him, to express himself in simple language. And he not only talked about the Sunnah, but he talked about the Jama'ah. That is why we are on the Sunnah, well, Jama'ah. The Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, has told us, Yadullahi ala al-Jama'ah wa shaytanu ma'amay yukhalaf al-Jama'ah The hand of Allah is on the Jama'ah, on the group. And the devil is with the one who goes against the group. In another tradition, Mu'ad ibn Jabal radiallahu an reports that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, has said, the devil is like a wolf among humans, as a wolf is among sheep. It snatches the stray sheep then he said, فَإِيَّاكُمْ وَالشِّعَابِ وَعَلَيْكُمْ بِالْجَمَاعَةِ وَالْعَامَّةِ وَالْمَسْجِدِ He said, so beware of the paths, of deviant paths. Beware of this, going off the main roads. And stick with the Jama'ah. Stick with the main group of the Muslims and the masses of the Muslims and the masjid. Stick with the masjid. So he gave us guidance that we needed. And he drew a line. He said, this is the straight path. And he drew little lines. And then the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, told us these small lines are all deviant paths. On the head of every one of these paths is an evil one who will take you off the straight path. And do not think that the person, this evil one, will come with horns. Do not think it will come like this. He will come in all types of disguises. He may even come in the disguise of an imam. He may even come in the disguise of your king, or the leader of your clan, or a president. He may come in many different disguises. But the important thing is that we should stick to the sunnah. Stick to the sunnah. And when we are hearing all these things about Islam, we hear all these different groups that are coming up. If we know our sunnah, if we study it, and not depend upon maulanas and sheikhs to give us all of the answers, but we begin to study and we go to them for the deep knowledge of Islam, then we will not be led astray like sheep. And we will not be taken off the path by weak imams or weak scholars who give fatwas to get food, to get a Cadillac or a Mercedes, to appear on television, not out of the fear of Allah. <coughs>